I said, I said, we got to have the church on the service. Verse 24, when the Bible says, Consider the great things that God has done for you. This is definitely a word from the Lord, even though there's racism going on, even though there's a lot of controversy. I just need y'all to know God has done great things for those who come out with us, you know, and share and fellowship with us. Uh, we're going to have powerful, powerful words. going to be good time, good fellowship. 11.30, right at 100 Northfield. Consider the great things that God has done for you. Consider the great things that God has done for you. If you can, I want you to share this video. Invite your friends, invite your families, and invite your loved ones. Come on out to the one up in Northland, uh, the Cold Spring Bible Chapel. We're going to be having service on the morning this morning at 11.30. It's going to be a powerful pack word from the Lord, and I just want you to know, Regardless of what's going on, just begin to think about the great things that God has done for you. And that's going to make your day. Anytime the enemy tries to make you feel as though, you know, all is lost, all you got to do is press rewind and just remember the great things that God has done for you. Just remember the great things because God has been great. God has been great. You take care. I hope to see you all at 1130. If not, we go live at 1130.
I read David's songs, God, I hear it. Have mercy. Huh? Oh, God, I, I, I done told myself out the frame. Have mercy. According to your tender love and, and, and your kindness. How did he know that? Because he had a relationship with God. So I just want to talk for a few minutes is, are you talking to the right person? Yes. Yes. Just for a few minutes, I want to talk on the subject matter. Are you talking to the right person? Yes, Lord. David shows us that we can talk to God. We can go to God. We can always go to God. No matter what's going on in our lives, we can always go to God. Even when David did treacherous things, he always humbled himself, and he went to God. The, the Bible referred to him as a man after God's own heart. Why? Because when he blew it, he went with a repentant spirit. Yes, Lord. He said, God, I know I messed up, but you still in control. God, I know I messed up, but you yeah. still sorry. Huh? God, I know I was wrong, yeah. Yeah. but you are God. So as we look at this 25th division of Psalms, this, this division of Psalms is divided into three parts, right? Okay. The first part, David prayed that God would not remember his sin. Any sinners in here? Yes. Sir. Well, everybody Amen. quiet, huh? Yes. And we got a bunch Amen. of Jesuses yes. in yes. right? yes. yes. We all yes. sin the same by yes. God. Yes. Huh? Yes. Any man that say he's without sin is a lie and the yes. truth yes. is yes. not yes. in him. Yes. Pastors included. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Deacons included, come on, somebody. Amen. Trustees included, Amen. come on. Amen. Mothers included, Amen. come on now. Anybody that says he is without sin, he is a liar, and the truth is not in him. Amen. So David prays that God will not remember his sins and that God will be his God. And he also asks God for help against his enemies. That really stuck out to me because a lot of times we're trying to fight our enemies on our own. And David was a warlord. And David didn't have no problem getting it in. Read about David. He ain't couldn't wait to get it in. Right, right, right. But he had came to the realization that it's up to God to fight his battles. It's up to God to defeat his enemies. And David tells us in the second part of this particular uh, division of Psalm, David tells us about God. And he tells us who God is. And he lets us know that God will answer and give us help in a time of need. Amen. Huh? That's why the Bible says, I will look unto the hills from which cometh my help, knowing that my help comes from the Lord. Amen. And then David, he tells God his enemies have hurt him and have made him unhappy. Don't you know we can talk to God? Yes, Lord. Amen. Especially when we're unhappy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Especially when somebody yes. has hurt us. And a lot of times, it ain't your enemy that hurts you. Sometimes it's the person that's closest to you. Yes. It's the person that you love the most. Yes, man. And we can go to God and say, God, I've been hurt. Amen. And I need you to help me. Huh? Because I'm not happy. Huh? Restore my joy. Restore my peace. Restore my happiness. Right? So he starts off and he says this. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift my head. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindness. For they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressors according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he will teach sinners in the way. The meek he will guide in judgment, and the meek he will teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquities, for it is great. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. He said, pardon my iniquities. I'm going to break that iniquity yes. down. Uh, uh, he said, because they're great. Yes. Huh? Yes. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him 
shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. And here it is right here, the subject matter. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. So now he begins to pray. This is a prayer. He's talking to God, and he says this in the first verse. He said, unto, unto thee, Lord, do I lift my soul. So when you look at that word soul in the text, he just simply saying myself. Mm -hmm. yes, he said, unto thee, Lord, I lift myself. Yes, because right now things is not right with myself. Yes, Come on, somebody. Yes, 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 yes. Right now, God, I, I'm lifting up myself right now, God. Right now, I can't pray for auntie. You know? I can't pray for little cousin right now. I can't pray for sister. Right now, I mean, yesterday I had to lift up a few people in prayer. But right now, today, God, I got to lift myself up in prayer, God. Right now, God, I got to pray for me. Come on, somebody. Right now, God, I'm going some things. And Lord, do I lift up my soul unto me, God. I got to lift myself up to you. Yes, Lord. Because some things ain't going right with Kenny today. That's some it. things ain't going right with my pat today. That's some it. things ain't going right today. So, God, I got to lift up myself unto you. Right now, God, I'm praying for me. Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. He said, oh, my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. He's saying, Lord, I trust you. Yeah. And don't let me be disappointed. Hmm. I know I done messed up, God. But God, don't let me be ashamed. Yes, yeah. What does that mean? It means being put to shame. Mm -hmm. Don't you know, it, it's not people that put you to shame. It's your character. That's right. That's and Lord. your behavior That's right. That's that Lord. shames you. That's right. Huh? Yeah. You can act upright and you can act like you're this and that, but it's your attitude, yes, your behavior, yes. and your character yes, that will bring shame on you. Has somebody ever told you, shame on you? Yes. They yes. said that not because of what they did, because of what you did. Somebody else. Yes, 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 yes. They ain't Amen. say shame Amen. on you. They said shame on you. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He says, yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed of transgresses. Huh? Without cause. He's saying, let none that wait on you be disappointed. Huh? Because those that wait on the Lord, you shall what? Renew their strength. I wish I had two or three by Amen. Amen. Somebody Amen. waiting on the Lord. Amen. There's no disappointment Amen. in waiting on God. Amen. Come on, because when God show up, God's going to show up in his time. He's going to show up in his will, but he's going to show up with what you need. Yes, Lord. According to his will. Yes, Lord. Uh, so he said, don't let me be disappointed, God, while I'm waiting on you. And don't let me be put to shame Amen. while I'm waiting on you. Yes, Lord. Uh, Thank but he you. said, let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Huh? Yes, that do things wrong without cause. Amen. There's no cause to do wrong. Yes. I mean, some people get off on doing wrong. Yes. Some people get excited about yes. doing wrong. Yes. I was one of them people. Yes. Some of y'all was some. Come on. Yes. I don't act like you ain't ever been going to do wrong. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. Wrong was my middle name. Yes. Give the wrong sentence. <laughs> With no cause, ain't have no reason to. That's right. He said, "Let them be put to shame." Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That one that acting up all the time, mean, nasty, and hateful. Yes. He said, "No, nah, God, let let yeah. them be put to shame." Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. He says, "This show me thy ways, O Lord, yeah. and teach me your paths." Yeah. Right? Yeah. That word "show" it means learn to know. Huh? Yeah. It's not talking about the optical visual of something. He's saying, when you show me, God, learn me to know it. Let me find out. But here it is. It means to be known by experience. Yes, Lord. Have anybody ever experienced God for real? Yes, Lord. You know where you at in God based on what God shows yes, you Lord. about who Amen. About oh who God. he is. Oh Come on, somebody. Yes, he Lord. said, God, show me your ways. Yes, Lord. I know my ways. My ways is messed up. Thank you. Show me your ways, God, because all your ways is right. Yes, Matter of fact, Lord. everything about you is right. And because I want to be right, God, show me how to be right. Yes, because Lord. it's only right within you. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 He, said, Amen. he said, show me how to be right. Yes, yes Lord. That's what it says. I'm reading the text. I'm not making this up. He says, show me your ways, O Lord. Huh? And he says, teach me. 
That word teach in the Hebrew, it means train me. Yes. Some of us got to go through some training. That's right. That's what he's saying, God. Train me. Train me, God. Anybody ever in here ever been trained? Yes, Lord. See, see, we're trained so we can have a specific skill. Oh, I wish y'all felt me in the whole world. What is this specific Hallelujah. skill? This skill is to be more godly. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Train me, show me, God, by experience, how to be more godly. Yes. Come on, now, I know yes. this is the Bible. I ain't writing none of this down. I'm just telling you what these words mean. Come on, now. That's what he says. He says, show me, God. Show me your way. I already know my way. Yes. My way, the one got me jammed up. That's why I'm praying. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Chris Simmons. Yeah. My way's got me jammed up. Yeah. That's why I'm praying, God. Yeah. So yeah. teach me yeah. your way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because righteous, God, we serve. Yes. Yes. Oh, righteous and a just God. Yes. I want to yeah. be righteous and I want to be just. Yes. Yes. I want to yeah. be like you, God. So show me your way. Train me yes. on how to be a better man of God. Yeah. Train me on how to be a better woman of God. Yes, Train Father. me in your ways, God. Yes, Show me. Yes, Teach yes, me. Yes, this yes. is what he's saying. So he says this in his prayer. He said, lead me in thy truth and teach me for thou the God of my salvation. On thee do I trust, right? That word lead, it means to walk in a specific way. God, show me how to walk in a specific way. Huh? What is that way? That way is upright. Yes. That way is just. Yes. Huh? That's in a way of love. Yes. Huh? That's in the fruits of the spirit. Yes. Come on now. That's yes. patience. Come on yes, now. Lord. Come on, somebody. Yes. That's love. Hallelujah. Come on now. Anybody yes, know? Show me how to yes. walk in love, God. Yes. Show me how to walk in patience. Yes. God. Show me how to be merciful, God. Yes. Show me. Yes, Lord. It means to bend. Now, sometimes yes, we get Lord. bent out of shape, but yeah. what he's telling God is to bend me back in shape. Yes, Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. It means, it means to tread. Huh? Hallelujah. Bend me in shape, God. Show me how to walk in your specific way. Because God's ways are specific. God gives you straight up instruction. Yes, Lord. He don't beat around the bush. God is always precise. Yes, Lord. God don't end his sentences in but. Yeah. Nope. Huh? There's no if when God is talking. Amen. God is right and exact and Amen. straight up direct. There's Amen. some specific when it comes to dealing with God. Amen. He has specific instructions. He has specific laws. He has specific statutes. Amen. He has specific Amen. commandments. Amen. Amen. So David said, God, lead me in a specific way. Amen. And what is that way? In your truth. Amen. God, lead me in your truth. Yes, Lord. That's what he's saying. God, lead yeah. me in your truth and teach me. God, instruct me, for you are the God of my salvation, and I wait on you all day. Amen. Huh? Amen. This Amen. God is patient with us. We got to learn how to be patient with well, others. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Huh? God moves when you want to move. That's it. Huh? Because if God moves when you want to move, something might get messed up. Are you really ready for God to move? Are you really ready for God to show you what He what you asked Him to see? Right. Amen. Because if he showed you right now, you might not like it. Amen. Amen. If he told Amen. you right now, you might not want to hear it. Yes, Lord. Come on, somebody. Amen. He Amen. said, lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. You are the God that saves me. Yeah. Uh, you are the God that comes to my rescue. Amen. God ever rescued anybody out of anything? Yes. Like yes. Amen. It don't always got to be dangerous. Sometimes Amen. God got to rescue Amen. you from yourself. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. I need help. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, remember, O Lord, thy tender mercy that I love and kindness, for they have been ever, O God, remember. Although I messed up, God, remember, you are a God of mercy. Yes, sir. Uh, have mercy on me, Lord. Uh, you are a God of tenderness. God, don't be rough, God. Yes, don't smite me, God, with your right hand of righteousness. God, remember, you are loving God. Yes, Remember, God, you love me. Mm. Uh, remember, God, you have provided grace for my life. Yeah. Remember, God, I'm here today, God, because of you. Yeah. Come on, anybody yeah. know that you're here today yeah. because of God?
says, God, don't, don't remember the sins of my youth. Because my youthfulness, God, I'm showed out. Ah, oh, my God. Amen. How many of you remember your yeah. youth? Yeah. Yeah. Some of us still show out now, but not like when we were younger. Don't take it. Don't come back. Uh, it was a go down and a hold down and a show down. Woo! He said, God, please don't remember that. Please don't remember that, God. He's saying that right now. He said, remember not to sin or, or my transgressions, the stuff that I did wrong. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, God. Because he says this in verse 8. God is good and upright. He is the Lord. Right? He's upright. He's good. Right? That word upright means correct. Yes. God is correct. But here it is in the Hebrew. It means straightforward. Yes. Huh? God don't beat around the bush. God tells us like it is. The truth of the matter is we don't like to like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we try to make it like it ain't. We try to put our own little twist on it. And it don't never work out right. Huh? It don't work out right. God is straightforward. That's what upright means, and he's correct. God is not wrong. Nothing about God is wrong. Amen. 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 Nothing about God is wrong. But see, we try to take it and flip it and try to make the word cater to how we want to live. That's it. Huh? Yes, yeah. We even flip the scriptures to, to, to make us feel good yes, about yes, doing yes. wrong. Yes. Huh? Yes. God knows my heart. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the favorite of God's heart. Yeah, that's popular. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He do. Thank you, Lord. Somebody said, thank you for your mercy. Thank, thank you for your mercy, Lord. Lord. Hey. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he will teach sinners in his way. Thank you, Lord. Here it is right here. I'm a sinner. Yes, Lord. And because God is correct, because God is straightforward, he will teach me, the sinner. Yeah. You, the sinner, his way. Ain't God is good? Well, God, God, God is good. Right. Listen, God is so good, even when I'm doing wrong, God is still trying to figure out how to get me right. Amen. God is still trying to show this sinner the right way to live. I'm messing up. Come on, God. I'm messing up, and God is still trying to show me. He's still trying to teach me. He's still trying to love me. He's still trying to thank me. He's still trying to help me. So look, he's still trying to work this thing out. Even in my mess, God is still at his best. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like this in our world. God in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. Yeah. Right? That word meek means humble. Huh? It says it right there. Not you chest poked out Christians. Not you that know every scripture you think of brother. He's not talking about you. He's talking about the humble. Will he guide in judgment? And the humble will he teach his way. See, you gotta humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. See, that's why a lot of people don't want to learn the word of God. Because they ain't humble enough to do what God word say. I'm not about to open the Bible right now because I want to do it my way. So when I'm humbling myself, what I'm telling myself is, listen, I got to humble myself before God. I got to be meek before God. I got to be as a little child. The Bible always tells as little children. You know how your child tell you when he needs some more. You know how your child, how humble you get when you done did something wrong, girl. I remember when I used to, my sister tell you, when you know you about to get a whoop. <laughs>
about when you was getting ready to ask mama for something. Let's go away from the wood. Asking them for something you don't even deserve. Mm -hmm. Don't you know we didn't even deserve to wake up this morning? That's right. But you know when you you, you, you was going to ask something uh, uh, from mama that she probably really ain't had the money to get, but you knew if you was humble enough yes. and you did what you supposed to do, yes. she was going to make it happen. Well, that's how God is. Yeah. If you humble yourself and you do what you're supposed yeah. to do, he's going to make it happen. Yeah. My friend used to scrub floors yeah. so me and my sister could wear the best. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. We had the finest vines when we was kids. Right. We ain't know we was poor. Right. Right. Y'all ain't realize y'all was poor until right. we got grown. Right. Yeah. That big old block of cheese, Amen. you didn't know that we was on welfare. Amen. We ain't gonna have that big old good old block of cheese that you just put to you and you was poor. My granny would take that cheese, come on somebody, and she would make some good stuff, that macaroni and cheese, that real cheese, come on now. Somebody talk that baked zeke, come on somebody. Yeah. 
forgive me for my iniquity. Right. It's great. Right. Hey, right. I don't got no little iniquity. I don't did some big bad thing. But right. hey, oh, my God. Hey, I almost blew this microphone. <laughs> As a pastor. We done all did some stuff on yeah. purpose yeah. that we ain't had no business on. Yeah. It felt good at the time, yeah. but because of the relationship that you have with God, it didn't feel good for so long. Yeah. 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 It might have felt good for the moment, yeah. 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 but when the Holy Ghost started whooping yeah. that thing, Huh? Yes, Lord. Any ever had fun? It's just like when, 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 when your grandma told you not to go out the yacht. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I had Mark right here. And I would go out the yacht. Yeah. And I had yeah. fun yeah. playing. Yeah. And, and, and we had a good old time yeah. playing. Yeah. playing. But when the dust set, yeah. oh. and you had to go back in that fence, yeah. and God was standing right water. there. Don't you know God is standing right there in the middle of your yes. pocket, in the middle of your skin, in the middle of your planet? God is everywhere at all times, oh, but because yes. of his grace and because of... Oh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes. I'm just going to tell the truth today. Yes, huh? Yes, Amen. He says this, part of me, God, for my iniquity is great. Yes. I mess up all the time. Yes, yes. Day, yes. 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 I mess up all the time. Yes. Amen. Yes. I put my shirt on backwards all the time. Yes. Y'all yes. get that yes. holy. Yes. I move in the wrong direction a lot of times. Yes. Yes. So, God, I need you to forgive me. Yes. 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 Forgive me, God. Yes. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yes. For my sin is great. Yes. And I'm oh, doing man. it on purpose. Yes, Lord. God. It's big. Yes, Lord. It's humongous. Yes, Lord. And, God, I need you to pardon me. Mm. Yes, for doing right. that ugly thing. Yes, yes, for saying those ugly words. Yes, yes, for God. going to that ugly thing. Oh, my God. Help me, Pastor. It's the word. Amen. It's the word. Amen. He said, What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. Yes. That is right here. What is the man that feareth the Lord? That's somebody that respect God. Amen. Amen. And see, I really, I, Amen. I, I want to get to the Amen. point. Amen. And we all need yes, to get back to the point of fearing God. Yes. 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 We ain't, we ain't, we, 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 we're not fearing God enough. Yes, sir. Because if we did, it's just some stuff we just wouldn't do no more. Amen. Yes, yes, because yes, it's displeasing yes, to God. Amen. I'm tired of, I'm tired of yes, letting God. Lord. Lord. Anybody tired? I'm not 
might not be worthy, but doggone it, I'm living right. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 So it, 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 it's not hard for me to smile. That's yeah. right. Because I ain't worried about nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm living to the best of my ability. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. God, I'm trying. I want to be pleased. Yeah. And yeah. my next move going to be my best move. Yes, yes. 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 God. Yes, God. Somebody. His soul dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. What does that mean? You ain't got to worry about nothing happening to your people. Amen. 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 Everything that God got. That's right. Amen. The earth and the Lord in the fullness thereof. Right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on and help me out, somebody. Amen. So when you do what God tells you to do, your kids is even blessed. Yes, yes, yes. See, a lot of us wonder why our kids is out here throwing up. Maybe it's something you ain't doing right. Because he curses until the third and fourth generation of those who hate him. Those who hate him don't have reverence for him. Uh, you wonder why your kid out of shape? Because maybe you out of shape. God, fill him back in. For my kids, sake, yeah, for my yeah. grandbaby's sake. Yeah. I know why I'm alive today, because I had a praying yeah. grandma. Yeah. Oh, I had two yeah. praying grandma. Yeah. A yeah. generation yeah. before me, and they mama's yeah. praying, yeah. and they mama's praying. Yeah. That's why we alive right yeah. now. Somebody yeah. prayed for yeah. me. Yeah. They yeah. had yeah. the moon in my heart. They yeah. took the time yeah. to pray for me. Yeah. I'm so glad they prayed. Yeah. I'm so glad yeah. they prayed. Yeah. I'm so yeah. glad they yeah. prayed for me. Somebody help me out. He said, Lord, teach me. He said, Lord, instruct me. He said, God, show me. He says, guide me. Come on, somebody. He's steady asking the Lord because he knows he can't do it on his own. I can't stop sinning on my own. My flesh loves to sin. Let me get a drink on that. He liked to do it. So what is he saying? Lord, help me to not do wrong. Teach me how not to do wrong. Instruct me on how not to do wrong. This is what he's saying. He's saying, God, I'm giving you myself. Yeah. Because right now, myself need help. Yeah. 
I need you now. I need you now. To teach me. Teach you. I need you to show me. show me. But it says it's in the text as we continue this subject matter. Respect and reverence for God. Huh? Yeah, to fear the Lord yeah. is to have respect for God. And he said his word, if you don't fear me, if you don't have respect for me, huh? if you don't want to obey my commandments and my statutes, there is no relationship. Amen. He calls us in, 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 in the Bible, we are bastard children. That's what the Bible says. Don't the Bible say that you child of him? He said, if, if we're not obeying our father, then we're just like bastard kids. Without a father. Huh? Because we acting like we don't got a father because we're not following the instructions of the father. Amen. Preach pastor. As I close church, we have to really, really pray, especially in this time, to live according to the word of God, live according to the will of God. Okay. And it's not easy. It's not easy. No, not Come on, somebody. Just walk in. He never said the road would be easy. No, man. He never said it. He said you got to take up your cross and walk. Huh? He said you're going to be persecuted. He said they don't disrespect you for my name's sake. Just because you're doing good, they going to hate you. Amen. That's right. But as long as you fear me, yeah. you're going to be all right. Amen. As long as you fear me, I'm going to have your back. Amen. As long as you fear me, I'll make your enemies your footstool. Huh? As long as you fear me, I'll be your bridge over the yes. water. Come on now. As long as you fear me, I'll be your wheel within a wheel. Yes. I'll be your rock in a weary land. Okay. I'll be your water when your well runs dry. Come on now. Come on, Pastor. If you just yeah. keep your covenant with me. Amen. Keep the friendship. Keep the intimacy yeah. going. And watch how I bless you. Like, come on, give God a round of applause. God is awesome. And he's wonderful in all his ways. And I want you to really develop the mindset of God. I want a closer relationship with you. More of you and less of me. Lord God, we thank you and we praise you. And we know, God, that mighty are the works of your hands. We know, God, that you're on time, God. Thank you. And we know that you are God that keeps his words. And we know that all your promises are yea and amen. God, bless our hearts to be right. Because what's in our heart, that's what we think. And what we think, that's what we do. Yeah. So we just want to be more like you. Amen. Bless all the families. Bless everyone that we prayed for. Mother Linda Brown. Mother Strong. Mother Sheffield. Mother Wilson. Juanita Duncan, Brother and Sister Hudson, and Brother George Callahan. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for Pastor Charlene Cherry. Let's pray for all our ministers and deacons who are not here. Let's pray for people. Let's pray for this mayor. Let's pray for this governor. Let's pray for this president. Let's pray for this world. Lord, have